Hi, everybody. This is a requested video of Where Do I Study? Um, my kids are looking at me. Our house is a Cape Cod, so every room is taken. We have a living room and kitchen, eating kitchen. We don't have a dining room. And then we have two bathrooms, four bedrooms. So all the rooms are taken. And the basement downstairs is unfinished. However, um, my parents are coming to visit for a few months this summer, and they like Rachel's room upstairs. It's right off the bathroom, kind of private, so they, they like to be in her room. Last time we did that for a couple months, she roomed with Shelby, and it just wasn't pretty. Uh, Shelby's a little cleaner than Rachel, <laughs> so <laughs> it didn't go over very well. So my husband, Eric, wanted to build a bar, a guy cave area downstairs anyway, so he's like, you know what, this time... Uh, let me go ahead and uh, build out that space. None of the bar stuff's down there yet. It, it was just a room to put Rachel up for the few months that my parents were here. So um, that's what we did. So I was at the kitchen table, and I think my husband kind of wanted it back so we can eat dinners and everything together again. So um, I came home one day, and he had made it into my classroom. He had taken everything downstairs. We had a folding table outside. He bought another one, so there was plenty of room for my study groups and everything. So um, it was pretty fabulous. So anyway, I was going to give you a tour since people wanted to know what my um, study area looks like. So I'm going to flip this camera around. Up on the walls, um, he put some pot lights in. Um, that back area eventually is going to be his little bar area, but um, anyhow, <coughs> we'll start here. I just brought down some extra kitchen tables, bought sitting pads for them because we're here studying. Um, my study group and I, we do anatomy and physiology, and we're here for at least four to five hours, Saturdays and Sundays. So anyway, um, these are just two tables. They separate the long way. They fold in half. Um, so if I wanted to clear this room out uh, for company or whatever, that's fine. Got them at Lowe's, and I want to say they were somewhere around $35 to $40 a piece. However, I did get one on sale, the first, the original, the first one over there, and I want to say I got it for around $25. But Lowe's also does military discounts, so you get 10% uh, off. So if you're military, you can go to Lowe's and tell them, you know, obviously you're military and you get a discount. So I'm a scrapbooker. Um, I do have a paper trimmer here. Sometimes um, we make our own note cards, so it's really easy to uh, open it up, put the paper in, and slide it back and forth. That's a picture of myself and my girlfriend, Roxy. <laughs> that was the night of our induction into Honor Society. Um, come around here. This is where I sit. Um, I just got a couple... Um, storage bins. This one is just plain. I got this at Staples. Um, I'll do more of a video on uh, those pens later because they're pretty flippin' fabulous. They're erasable. Um, and then my um, remote for my iHome over there. Just things that I, gla uh, not glance for, but uh, reach for very often. Um, I'd like to keep right next to me. I still have these index cards out. These are things that I'm going to start getting familiar with now that I'm starting clinical soon. I got a new pencil. These are things um, I printed out already. My clinical instructors have already put up PowerPoints. So I have them front and back. Everything that's pretty thick actually. Let me see if I can get a better view here. All of that. Um, I don't do well with PowerPoints. They've never worked for me. But I am going to um, I've already printed them out because I'm going to go ahead and start making my notes from them. But I am going to leave room for, um, I'm not sure how it works if we get lecture as well going over those or if those are kind of a do on our own, whatever. Um, but I printed them out because I'm going to already start making my notes. Um, just some essentials to stay right here in the center so whoever needs whatever can use it. We have a three-hole punch, obviously, stapler. And then I have, um, again, I think I got this from Walmart. Uh, yep. By any means, you get any of these bins I've gotten at Walmart. And just lots of colored pens, scissors, pencils. Um, I have mechanical pencils and old school pencils. And then over here, I just, I've had a lot of longer burger back from when we were first married. Um, someone in, on my mother-in-law's side was selling it. So 
I never bought it. I couldn't afford it. That was back when we were poor airmen. But anyway, I pulled things out because I didn't want to have to buy a whole lot of things. So I'm just kind of um, reusing some things I already had around the house. So those are some markers, extra um, paper, crayons, um, tape, lots of tabbies, lotion. Um, that's my Phi Theta Kappa um, certificate they sent to me in the mail. And this hot mess right here was all anatomy and physiology too. I'm going to do a separate video on that because um, Robin requested it. So I absolutely will do that for him. Okay, if you come around back here, I have two of these. These are, let me see, I think they call them four shelf. Um, because you can utilize the top, obviously. Got these at Target. I chose black, and they were $19 a piece. That was it. And obviously, you can adjust the shelves to however you want, you know, the height levels to be for. But up here, I have um, pencil sharpener, just some rubber bands, a picture of my kids, um, just some miscellaneous things. Back here, I have extra um, note card holders. Um, this is where I store a lot of my extra stuff. I have um, staples, extra post-its. I have these rings um, I like to use when I put some note cards together. I'll punch a hole in the corner of them and, and ring them up. Oops, dropped. I have these um, binder clips. Love to use those. Sorry, I'm picking my post-its. More post-its, obviously. Um, Band-aids, colored um, index cards, and then down here, I utilized another longer burger basket. It came with dividers. Um, never really knew what to do with it, so this houses all my extra supplies. I'm running low, actually. Um, I have rubber bands, more post-its. I have a calculator. I have tissues, more old-school pens. I love those pens. I wish they were erasable, but that's totally 80s, and I adore them. <laughs> Old school pencils, I have some hand wipes, more tissues, more colored note cards. I'm out of white note cards. I bought a huge um, pack at Sam's Club and they're gone. I have reinforcement things. I have extra tabbies, you know me and my tabs. Mm, extra pencil erasers, extra mechanical pencils. I like the mechanical pencils. Never used to be a mechanical pencil kind of girl. But, um... I do like them. More pens. And then here I just have some uh, nursing books, things I've bought on my own because they came as recommendations from different YouTube nurses I've watched. And then all of this down here is A&P 1. Like I said, I became a little more organized this, this semester with A&P 2, but that's A&P 1. I am going to um, fix those eventually to how I did them now because I will you will always refer back to your anatomy and physiology, so don't throw any of that away. And then I do have a bin here. I have my um, plastic dividers. I have extra paper. I like the reinforced edge paper. You can buy it at Target. Um, Staples, too. I'm sure this is Five Star. It's made by Five Star. Target also has a brand, but the Target brand is um, a little shorter and a little uh, more narrow, but I like the reinforced um, edges. They don't tear as easy when your binder starts getting full. I have extra um, composition notebooks. I get them when they're like, you know, 20 cents a piece at the beginning of the year. And so when my kids need um, supplies as well, when they're running low on pencils, they come down here. I have more page protectors. I have these um, very cheap one subject notebooks. Uh, filler graph paper that was for when I took algebra but I keep it in the house because my kids obviously with the math still and then I have bright computer paper um, I'll tell you different uh, things I do with that later in another video and then I have some more pre-printed um, <clears throat> dividers so let me push that back in and I just kind of keep it in that bin I think I got that bin for seven dollars at Target as well this is an old <laughs> Can you tell? This is an old uh, nightstand. I'm utilizing it right now. Um, not sure actually if I have okay, nothing down there. In here are all of my um, note cards from um, my first year, last semester, fall semester last year. 
and spring semester. Wasn't that organized? I have extra, I just keep plastic bags back here. And then here's some more books and notebooks I had. Um, and then here's my last bin. Um, picture my husband and I. That's my acceptance letter. That's going to be another video. And then, hey, a girl needs some snacks, okay? There's healthy and there's bad stuff. So for the bad stuff, we have some holla, some Ghirardelli chocolate and caramel, some combos, chips. These things are awesome. Love them. The little snack cakes. Um, there's a cheddar. There's a ranch. They are so good. There's all different kinds of flavors. You can get them where you get the pretzels and such. And then this, I just have a couple extra shelves. Okay. I keep uh, paper towels down here and onto this old, ugly, but incredibly comfortable couch. They just don't, or a love seat, they just don't make these <laughs> as comfy and cushy anymore, I don't think. But this was um, the set uh, Eric and I bought together back in 1991 when we were first married. <laughs> we don't have the couch anymore, but the love seat. Um, it's just extra seating and it's incredibly comfortable. Eventually I'm going to make a cover to cover it up, but whatever. And then this is the printer my husband bought um, for me because my study group and I, we had an older printer upstairs and we were just killing it and it just wasn't, he just thought with clinicals starting, if I got accepted into clinicals, he bought that before I knew. Um, there's an extra paper tray holder down below. That's my iHome. I got that for Christmas. That'll be in my little Christmas haul. Um, so I can put my, because I, I love background music when I study. And uh, so I can put my iPhone on there and play it. So that's very nice. And then this was just an old TV holder that we had upstairs. Um, but now our TV's mounted on the wall. So to utilize that, I just brought it down. I still need to get some bins and stuff to get this clutter up off the floor. But this printer is fabulous. And it runs on... Um, these long, oh, what do you call them? Toners. I guess they're not really cartridges, but they're like, it's toner, actual toner. And these bad boys were expensive, but they last forever. Um, so yeah, this is a Dell. If anybody's interested, what does that say? It's a Dell 2155CDN. It's not focusing. But um, it's also a scanner, copier, fax. It does it all. Copy, fax, scan, menu. I can email right from here. Um, I have email set in there. So if I'm over here on my laptop studying um, at the table and I want to send something to somebody, I can um, print it from my laptop, it's wireless, my husband did all that stuff, and then also I can store the um, email, so as I'm, something about as I'm um, scanning them in, I can email it from this thing. I don't know how that, I haven't done that yet, but I thought that was the future, that was pretty cool, so I can store email addresses in there and send them to my, my classmates or whatever. I almost said my students. So it is a little bare down here. Um, I don't have anything on the walls yet. I did buy a frame because I have tons of pictures, obviously, because I scrapbook. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, I thought it was incredibly sweet of him to um, do this for me. I um, It's a lot quieter than the kitchen table was upstairs, and we get a lot done down here. And... Um, it's just a great place to work. I'm, I'm very fortunate. The rest of the basement is unfinished still, but that's okay. And it still kind of echoes in here. I need to get some things up on the wall, but that's where I study. Uh, let me know what you think. I would love to see videos of where you study. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.